Hello, hello, happy new year. Welcome back to my channel. I am honestly so excited for this year and I typically say that every year, but this year I feel like I'm more focused than ever and I'm, I'm working on focusing on just one to two things at a time. I have two main goals that I'm focusing on this year. The first is creating two new series of artwork that I am really excited about and I'm going to speak more about them throughout this video. And the second is focusing on my YouTube. I want to grow my channel and I want to document my creative journey and share that with you guys. When thinking about what I wanted to do for my first video of 2023, I thought what better way to start the year than with a makeover. So I have overhauled my office and I have renovated this room that I'm sitting in right now, which is my sewing room and a little reading nook, which I've got in this corner here. And honestly, I'm so happy with how this is. I want the space that I spend most of my time in to be inspiring and that is why I've kicked off my new year with this project. So without further ado, let's get started. As you can see, there's really not much going on in this room at the moment. It's not at all inspiring. I have my desk here where I usually do all my editing and admin work. And then I'm thinking up on this wall here, I'm going to put two shelves and I've been searching for inspiration on what I want to do to decorate them. And I'll put a little uh, picture up on the screen there. And then under the window, I'm going to add a bookshelf, which is this bookshelf right here. And then I've got my cupboards in the mirror, hello. And then over this side, I am going to be taking this table out and I'm going to buy a new desk um, that's a little bit smaller for my painting and sketching. And then up on this wall, I think I'm going to do a gallery wall with all different size frames. For this room, I only have to decorate, which is awesome because Chris and I painted this last year. So this one's gonna be much easier than the second room, which I'll show you shortly. behind me today and I'm going to be adding the shelves and decorating them as well and then I need to set up my desk so that it's ready for me to do painting and sketching at and once I've done that this room is pretty much done but yeah let's just get straight into it yes putting the screws into the paint so I'm gonna have to fill and repaint around them. look at this space I've got my desk and then this shelf that I set up which honestly it just makes me happy to look at my props on display rather than being packed away in a cupboard and then I've got my little studio space for painting I don't need a lot of space right now while I'm still learning if I eventually need more space I will make room somehow 
This space has changed a little bit since I initially decorated it. I've added a couple more books, some more ornaments. There's a photo of my dad. He recently passed away, so I wanted that memory there as a reminder. Overall, I am delighted with the outcome of this room and I am so eager to spend more time in here creating more art. This is the room. As you can see, it really does need some love. For this wood panelled wall here, I'm going to have it as a feature wall and put my sewing desk and have a chair and a side table here so that I can read. And then I'm going to leave the bookshelf in here as is and put some art on the walls. We've done no work on this room whatsoever at the moment because we are still deciding whether we're going to knock this whole back section of the house down and rebuild it. So I don't wanna to do too much. I'm just going to paint the walls so that they look nicer and then decorate the space as well. While I paint this room, I want to talk about the two art series that I'm currently working on. I promised to speak about them earlier in this video. If you've been following my journey over the last few years, you'll already know this, but for those of you who haven't, during 2021, a friend and I built a room from scratch in a warehouse, and I planned to create an entire series in it. I would create a set, then I would knock it down, create another one, knock it down, and so on. I'll pop up some pictures on the screen of the room so you can see what I'm referring to. This series had a working title at the time, which was House of Strange, and I've since changed it to House of Curiosities because this series is about reigniting that childlike curiosity within us that we typically lose as we enter adulthood. It's set within a house with hundreds of rooms, and each room has something strange or sinister or fun happening within. After I finished the room, my circumstances changed and I moved interstate to Sydney to be with my fiancé Chris, so I never ended up getting the opportunity to shoot the series. Unfortunately, the room wasn't built to be transported, nor was it viable from a financial standpoint, so I find myself at the beginning again with an opportunity to start fresh. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to rebuild this room with Chris from scratch in my backyard and I'm going to shoot my series. And honestly, this series has been in the works for over two years now, and this year I'm finally going to make it happen. In the meantime, while I'm building this room for my House of Curiosity series, I'd really like to shoot some art for another series I have in mind. This particular series focuses on an exploration of the imagination and how deep or far into our imagination we can go before the lines of what is and isn't reality starts to blur. I've always had a curiosity for what lies on the other side of the veil of where reality stops and what isn't reality as we know it begins. So why not create a series around that? And now back to the video. Actually finished with the painting. I'm so happy with how it looks. It's so bright in here. But man, the sunroom gets so hot in the afternoon when the sun is on it. So I need to put up some curtains to be able to block that out and keep some of the heat out. And then I've got to decorate as well. But yay, so excited. Three days later. So we ended up doing the floor and I am stoked with how this is looking. It's completely converted the space. Now I just need to put some furniture in and decorate and it will be completed. And just like that, this space is completed and I'm really happy. I've put the easel over in this corner with some art on it and I'll probably swap that out time to time. And then I've got my sewing desk over here with lots of space on it. And then I ended up moving the bookshelf over to this space here because it just flowed better coming into the room. And then I've got my chair here to read. I'll probably put some art up on the walls. So here and over on this feature wall here and here. Um, but that will come later when I've got some art to put up there. But honestly, I'm so happy with how this has turned out. Some of the furniture is slightly mismatched, so I'll probably change out the sewing desk eventually. But for now, I'm really happy with how it's looking. 
Also, I adore these curtains. They're so soft and they just suit this space perfectly. Overall, I am really stoked with the transformation of this room. wrap on this makeover video. I really hope that you've enjoyed watching the transformation of this room and my office space. I'm really excited and inspired to use these spaces and create more content to share with you guys. If you want to stick around and see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe and like button and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!